Do you sometimes feel as if you are being watched or that something is there lurking in the shadows? Do you ever feel like there is a demonic presence in your room at night or that you are being gang stalked? This may be more than a gut feeling. This may be spiritual warfare and you are being watched by monitoring spirits. For Christians, being watched by demonic monitoring spirits is a serious concern because it means that evil forces may try to harm them or lead them away from God's path. In the Bible it says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5.8 This verse reminds Christians to be aware of the devil's schemes and to stay strong in their faith. Demonic monitoring spirits can try to tempt Christians into doing wrong or doubting their beliefs. In Ephesians 6.12 the Bible says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This verse teaches that Christians are in a spiritual battle against evil forces, including demonic spirits. When Christians are monitored by demonic spirits, they may feel fearful or anxious. However, the Bible offers reassurance that God is greater than any evil force. In 1 John 4, 4, it says, You, dear children, are from God, and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. This verse reminds Christians that God's power is stronger than any demonic influence, and they can find strength and protection in Him. To protect themselves from demonic monitoring spirits, Christians are encouraged to pray, read the Bible, and surround themselves with fellow believers for support. James 4 7 says, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This verse teaches that by staying close to God and resisting temptation, Christians can overcome the influence of demonic spirits in their lives. Demonic monitoring spirits can be sneaky, working in ways that might seem harmless, but are actually meant to lead us away from God. For example, they might whisper negative thoughts in our minds, making us doubt ourselves or others. They could also tempt us to do things we know are wrong, like lying or being mean to someone. These spirits might also influence what we watch or listen to, steering us towards things that glorify violence, greed, or immorality. They might make us obsessed with material possessions or focused only on our own desires, making us forget about helping others or living according to God's teachings. Sometimes, Demonic monitoring spirits can even use people around us to spread gossip, stir up trouble, or lead us astray from our faith. They might make us feel isolated or alone, convincing us that nobody cares about us or that God has abandoned us. But the good news is, we don't have to let these spirits control us. By staying close to God, praying, and surrounding ourselves with positive influences, we can resist their temptations and live according to His will. As it says in the Bible, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4, 7 Be mindful of who it is that you are talking to. Oftentimes, when someone seems to pry into your personal business more than the normal chit-chat, this may be a monitoring spirit. These spirits are looking for something they can use against you or report back to the enemy with. The objective is to go directly against what God has planned for you. If God has good plans for you, the monitoring spirit is going to try to do the opposite of that thing. Does it seem like every time you are about to achieve breakthrough, something always comes along to knock you back down? This too could possibly be a monitoring spirit derailing your plans or progress. The enemy doesn't want you being successful for the kingdom of God. Spotting monitoring spirits can be tricky because they often work in subtle ways, but there are some signs to look out for. If you notice a pattern of negative thoughts or feelings, like fear, doubt, or anger, that seem to come out of nowhere, it could be a sign of spiritual influence. 
Pay attention to sudden changes in your behavior or emotions, especially if they don't seem like they're coming from you. Another way to spot monitoring spirits is through repeated temptations to do things that go against what you know is right. If you find yourself constantly battling with urges to lie, cheat, or hurt others, it could be a sign that something spiritual is at play. Additionally, if you notice a pattern of negative events or circumstances in your life, it might be worth considering whether there could be a spiritual component to what's happening. While not every difficulty or challenge is necessarily caused by monitoring spirits, persistent trouble or strife could indicate a need for spiritual discernment. If you believe you are being tormented by monitoring spirits, the first step is to turn to God for help. Pray for his protection and guidance and ask him to reveal any spiritual influences that may be at work in your life. Remember the words of Psalm 91 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Trust in God's promise to protect you from harm. Seeking support from fellow believers can also be helpful. Surround yourself with people who can offer spiritual encouragement, prayer, and accountability. Together, you can stand firm against the attacks of monitoring spirits and support each other in living according to God's will. Finally, stay rooted in God's word. Spend time reading the Bible and meditating on his promises. As it says in Ephesians 6, 10, and 11, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. By staying connected to God and his truth, you can find strength and protection in the face of spiritual battles. In the Bible, we find a story about a man who was tormented by a monitoring spirit. This man lived in the region of the Gerasenes, and he was possessed by many demons. These demons caused him to behave in strange and violent ways, making him live among the tombs and cry out day and night. When Jesus came to the region, the man encountered him and fell at his feet. The demons within him recognized Jesus and begged him not to torture them. Jesus asked the man's name, and the demons replied, Legion, for there were many of them. The demons begged Jesus not to send them out of the area, but to allow them to enter a nearby herd of pigs. Jesus granted their request, and the demons entered the pigs, causing them to stampede off a cliff and drown in the sea. When the people of the region heard what had happened, they were afraid and asked Jesus to leave their area. This story shows us the torment that can come from being possessed by monitoring spirits. The man in the story was unable to control his actions because he was under the influence of these evil spirits. However, when he encountered Jesus, he found freedom and deliverance from his tormentors. This story reminds us that Jesus has power over all evil spirits and can set us free from their influence if we turn to him in faith. As believers, we have the powerful weapon of the name of Jesus to use against any kind of demonic attack we may face. In the Bible, we read in Philippians 2, 9 to 10. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. This verse reminds us that the name of Jesus holds authority over all powers, including those of the demonic realm. When we face demonic attacks, we can call upon the name of Jesus for protection and deliverance. In Luke 10, 17, Jesus gave his disciples authority over demons, saying, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This verse assures us that as believers, we have been given authority to overcome the attacks of the enemy through the power of Jesus' name. Ephesians 6.10 encourages us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. By putting on the full armor of God, including the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, 
We can stand firm against the schemes of the devil. No matter what kind of demonic attack we face, whether it be temptation, oppression, or spiritual warfare, we can trust in the power of Jesus' name to overcome. In Acts 4.12, it says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven, given to mankind by which we must be saved. This verse reminds us that Jesus' name is not only powerful in overcoming demonic attacks, but also in bringing us salvation and eternal life. As believers, we can take comfort in knowing that we have the name of Jesus to call upon in every situation, and through his name, we have victory over the powers of darkness. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, acknowledging his authority and power over all things, including the forces of darkness. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation and the victory we have through your Son, Jesus Christ. In the face of any demonic attack or spiritual warfare, we lift up our voices in prayer invoking the name of Jesus as our shield and fortress. We declare that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. We stand firm in the authority you have given us as believers, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love and protection. Lord, we ask for your strength and wisdom to discern the schemes of the enemy and to resist his temptations. Help us to put on the full armor of God, standing firm in truth, righteousness, faith, salvation, and the Word of God. May the power of your Holy Spirit guide us and empower us to overcome every attack of the enemy. We pray for those who are facing demonic oppression or spiritual warfare, that they may find deliverance and freedom in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every spirit of fear, doubt and bondage, declaring victory and freedom in Christ. Fill us with your peace and assurance, knowing that you are with us always, even in the midst of spiritual battles. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your promise to never leave us nor forsake us. We trust in your unfailing love and your mighty power to protect us from the evil one. May your name be glorified in our lives as we walk in victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching the video. I pray that it has prepared you for spiritual warfare, should you have the need. If you have found value in the video, please subscribe to the channel and come back for more in the future. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.